And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Gruel Aggro. Going to be our next deck in Historic. We've been having a blast playing Historic today. We're going to be going back to ranked here, playing best of three ranked with uh, Gruel Aggro, this, our next deck. Um, yeah, so basically the, the new addition for Gruel Aggro here, you know, may look like just like the standard deck. But the new addition is, that I think can make a huge difference and be a really good card is Burning Tree Emissary. It costs Gruel Gruel for a 2-2, but whenever it enters the battlefield, you add a, a red and a green to your mana pool. So basically, it's a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two that adds 2 mana. So it's basically free. And so Gruel is all about curving out. Like this deck, that's all this deck's trying to do is curve out. Well, it turns out if you have... Uh, zero mana two twos. It really helps <laughs> curve out. Um, sometimes you know you can have like two burning tree emissaries in your opening opening hand and play two of them on turn two, and then hopefully something else also, and you can just go crazy. So that's what our deck's trying to do here. Um, we got the four once upon a times uh, to go along with eight one drops with the Lanowar Elf Pelt Collector. Once upon a time is awesome at finding extra burning tree emissaries. Or also, you have the two mana. If you don't have anything else to do, you can spend it on casting once upon a time as well. Um, but you can see here, we have Paradise Druid and Kral Harpooner and Bone Crusher Giant, the stomp part of Bone Crusher Giant. So we have a lot of things to do with that extra two mana. Um, this is So I'm, I'm kind of going with the Kral Harpooners here, but there's a lot of options for these two mana slots. I'm going with Kral Harpooner because there are a lot of Gilded Goose. Like, Oko is is really popular and so i'm trying kral harpooner to to um fight some gilded goose and plus if you have turn one pelt collector turn two you could go burning tree emissary add the counter to pelt collector make it a two two and then kral harpooner add another counter and make it a three three and you have a, a one mana three three that you're attacking with already on turn two plus you have five extra power in play that's just a whole lot of pressure other options, though, for this slot, like you, you definitely want cards that cost, like you don't want green, green or red, red cards. You want a cards that you can play off of one green and one red mana. Thorn Lieutenant is a is a very good just overall card as a as a two three there. Um, but then also, Robber of the Rich is kind of amazing with Burning Tree Emissary, and I could definitely see playing like Mono Red builds with Burning Trees and with Robber of the Riches. Because burning trees, like those are cards that leave your hand, right? You're emptying your hand and putting two twos into play, and then you get to just play robber the rich attack immediately, and you don't you have less cards in hand, so you start exiling and things like that. Um, so that's another option uh, there. Um, but I think, but we're gonna go with Kral Harpooner. So I think that's what, that's where I want to start with. Um, we're not playing very many lands, just 22. We're being real aggressive, but we have the land we're off once upon a time, Paradise Druid. You can see here I'm going all for Ember Cleave because I think that's that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to like, you know, play a one drop, play two two drops, and then turn three, we can attack with the three of them, and we have, you know, play our third land. We have three creatures attacking. We can already Ember Cleave on turn three. <laughs> and so I, I think that's something that we can be doing quite a bit here is turn three attacking it and ember cleaving and so that's really what our deck's trying to do you know like field of the dead we're trying to go underneath them by ember cleaving already on turn three um sideboard obviously lots of nexus we got a bunch of cinder vines for for the nexus decks um you know veil of summer domri ambush domri's ambush another great card with burning tree emissary <clears throat> you can have nothing on turn turn one but then turn two just drop burning tree emissary and then ambush and make it a three three and have removal spell so that's that's pretty awesome there, um, and then against aggro we got some rip jaws and some vivians against control. Um, sideboard obviously very in flux right now, so you know feel free to change it up if you if you're playing the deck more and uh, you have things that you really want to play. All right, we're gonna go on over to traditional historic ranked. We did awesome with Sultai Spectre earlier. Now let's try Gruel Aggro. First time playing Burning Tree Emissary on here. <laughs> We're going to Cleveland today. That's really good. Feels so good to play Treasure Map again. Yes, it does, Subisac. Yes, it does. Dire Fleet. Yeah, Dire Fleet. Uh, that's, another, that's another good one. Good call there. Yeah, Dire Fleet, um, Daredevil. That could be a good cyborg card. That works 
you know, that's something you can put in with Burning Tree Emissary also. Okay. So we get to, like, play our, t our two mana mana creature that ramps us into Spellbreakers and Questing Beasts, but then we also just get a 2-2 two -two in play, so we're not just only playing a mana creature on turn two. Alright, burning tree. Into burning tree. Into paradise druid. I think if we had Kral Harpooner and would have fought the, the Gilded Goose, and they would just not have like a turn two play and we'd have all that power out there. Alright, come on, land. We want Questing Beast here. Come on, land. Yeah. Burning Tree Emissary. <laughs> yeah. Gruel Storm. Storm count. All right. Uh, deck seems pretty good. Yep. Seems pretty good. It's probably a good Domri's Ambush matchup. It's probably a pretty good Domri's Ambush matchup. Uh, no, you'll only get the banned cards when you open Eldraine packs after you open up everything else. So, like, you if you have four of all the other rares, then you'll get Once Upon a Time, for example. Yeah, MS, yeah Burning Tree Emissary has always seen a ton of play. Like, yeah, it's all a bunch of play in Standard. All right, so we should probably play the Ambushes, but then what are we taking out? Like, that's the thing, is I don't, I don't know what to take out. Do we just take out Hellkites? Spellbreaker? A harpooner on the draw. I don't know. Like our deck is Spellbreaker kind of seems like our worst card. A Hellkite, a Spellbreaker. And a bone crusher giant. I don't even know if Domri's ambushes are better than these cards. We could trim an ember cleave on the draw, sure. I guess we'll do that. Uh, Nexus is only banned in best of one. Nexus is legal in best of three. And. Uh, everything is legal in best of three. All right, so they mulliganed. And I guess their next hand wasn't very good. Yeah, I think this is better than Jun Dinos. Jun Dinos doesn't have as much haste. You need You need more haste in an Oko format. All right, Suvi Sack, Mono Black Control for Historic anytime as long as it's uploaded to YouTube. All right, Suvi Sack, I will make Mono Black Control great again. No problem. Uh, if you're getting an error on your deck list, make sure on the left-hand side, make sure you have it listed as a traditional historic deck. Make sure it doesn't say a standard deck. Mm. Isn't it sad when we're, we're just have a, a one-drop and a two-drop and then we're... and we're sad? 
Hopefully we draw another two drop. Like Paradise Druid would be perfect. That's fine. Stomped. So we can still just play Bone Crusher Giant on turn three and, and we don't feel bad about it. We got the stomping in. Yeah, I'm ending the stream at midnight Eastern. So three hours and 35 minutes. The beast. <laughs> All right, girl's pretty good. Um, do they're like an artifact deck? I could play like Cinder Vines. Do I even need it? Kind of feels like over sideboarding if I just bring in a bunch of Cinder Vines. Alright, I'll take out one Harpooner for a Cinder Vines. Could have taken out Nembrickly for a Cinder Vines too. Not sure exactly how much blocking they'll be doing. This looks kind of ugly. Oh, yeah, I can update Stream Decker. None of these cards are bad, necessarily. I kind of need to just hit land drops. So I think I just want to take the land, honestly. I'll take Paradise Druid. All right, so if I draw a land here and I know I have three mana, then I can just I can play Paradise Druid and just have turn three Skarg and Hellkite. Yeah, I'm sure I'll just be playing Historic um, a good amount. Like, yeah, I'm enjoying Historic here, so I don't I'm not gonna just have like a, a one Historic as like a one day a week type thing. I think we'll just be playing it. Hmm. Well, I guess I need to do this now. I guess I could wait a turn. I should once upon a time first, because I could have hit Burning Tree Emissary. And then be able to go Burning Tree plus Paradise Druid. No, 
No, so yeah, if they would have played monitor first... Oh, but they didn't just activate at end step, though. So they would have just played monitor first. They just... They, they missed out on the untap. They didn't just play Psy first to get an extra trigger. To get an extra Thopter. Yeah, the, re the reason why I'm not playing Rekindling Phoenix is because I don't think that card matches up very well against uh, Oko. So I know I'm just kind of sacrificing two creatures here with the Pell Collector and the Kral Harpooner. I'm basically sacrificing these two to be able to attack with this, this Hellkite this turn. Because obviously, like, these were going to trade. And so I could have just, like, not attacked and just held the Hellkite in hand for the next turn. But I got the extra damage in there. And we'll see what they got. We have lethal for the next turn. Now, unless they draw an artifact. They have, you know, any artifact makes them a Thopter. Mm. Alright, so not lethal yet. Okay. They didn't upkeep Exile with Mystic Forge, so they, they just drew their card. Alright. Ember Cleave. Hellkite. Still good. All right, two and O over in Mythic. Wow. We need we need another two mana spell to be able to play off these burning trees. 
No, Ripax, I won't be. Oh man, we need to just draw a two mana spell. Harpooner. Crowl Harpooner. Oh, opponent's a jerk. All right, so mono red. Do we go over? Or are we faster than mono red? So the problem with going the the spellbreaker as a three three is it doesn't get through chain whirler. We're gonna force them to have it. Hopefully they don't have chain whirler. Good. I guess it also gets Wizard's Lightning now. They did have Chain Whirler. Uh, no, no, no paradoxical outcome, right? I don't think there's any paradoxical outcome in, in historic. I think that was in Kaladesh, I think. Obviously, the Castle Embereth. Can't do anything about it. I, I don't think my opponent should have really attacked with that other chain wheel. I think they should have held them both back to block, but... Maybe not. All right, Rip Jaw. Rip. Jaw. So, Land Werewolf isn't amazing in this matchup. But also, you know, helps speed me up. But just gets... Chain World. We can at least try to have Pell Collector not get Chain World. We'll cut a couple Ember Cleaves. Yeah, it was in Kaladesh, so yeah, no. So yeah, Historic is just Ixalan forward. Okay, are we going to get that two drop? Ambush. All right, we'll take Paradise Druid. I guess Paradise Druid's not good against Chain Whirler. Ooh, no Chain Whirler. Never not attacking.
you know, did it targeted the spellbreaker because it has hex proof, and I like getting it to the four four so they can't just bolt it. Wow, a little faster than uh, than mono red. A little faster than mono red. We're three and zero in twenty five minutes. <laughs> Three and zero in twenty five minutes. Yeah, back up to rank forty one. Rule smash. This would be a perfect um, Burning Tree Emissary hand if we draw a Burning Tree Pelt into Burning Tree Paradise Druid into turn 3 Ember Cleave. So I'm gonna shock so that my so that I can have like double red and my opponent doesn't like maybe they don't realize it's Embercleave. I don't wanna like shock later on for Embercleave. Because I'll attack with, I'll probably just like attack with Paradise Druid also. But then it's not just like obvious that I'm going to be, that I'm going to have Ember Cleave. Yeah, I don't have Rekindling Phoenix in the deck because Rekindling Phoenix is not good against Oko. That's what my creatures have in haste. So I could have dealt um, an extra, huh? So they have to block here by moving it over. Oh, right. It doesn't do the first strike and then damage. Lyra has first strike also. Hmm. All right. Well, that was a bad attack. <laughs> I just forgot about the Lyra first strike. Uh, and I was already talking about how that was good. All right. That looks like game. Yep. All right, seven lands too many. <laughs> yep, that was a good attack. Seven lands too many. Hmm.
You're getting deck validation failed. And you have them... Um, like, you have them listed as a historic deck? I didn't have any... Any problems. So those, all those cards, none of them were lands. There we go. So I was going to say we're kind of due for a land there. Well, good hand for the opponent. Noxious Grasp and Othakaya. Good hand, good hand. No land, though. Makes sense keeping that hand, because, yeah, that's a, that's a really good start, but I guess they just didn't draw a land one of their first draw steps. Yeah, Kethis combo is really, really good in Historic. Yep, it's one of the best things to be doing. Right, they're on the play now. Uh, so the, the Mirage and the Unhinged Lands are buggy for Historic. Gotcha. Thanks for the help, everybody. Yeah, I removed Hellkite because it does it doesn't attack um, doesn't really attack well through the angels, and so instead I'm I'm playing Vivian that can kill the angels and also just be a good card advantage engine. And I, I basically I don't want to have like my whole deck filled with five. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't want a bunch of five mana cards with my twenty two land deck. It's not going to be very often that we draw seven lands like we had that first game. At least I don't think. Maybe it won't be that rare. Run out of removal eventually, right? Um, 
I would like to kill the cat this, but I guess we can't really. But I guess we'll, you know, maybe they play Lyra Dawnbringer. No Lyra. Okay. So no blocks. They got one draw step. What do they get? A land. GG's. All right, 4 0. Up to number 32. Ranking up slowly but surely. 37 minutes for four matches. It's crazy. Yeah, this deck's pretty powerful. Burning Tree Emissary. And especially, it's like a, you know, this is also just a new format. People are, like, trying out some janky stuff and just running them over. Yeah, we're going from noon to midnight Eastern time. It's it's almost 9 o'clock Eastern time, so we got like three hours. So this is not the last deck that we're playing tonight. We're going to be building more decks. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Historic Elves could be strong. No, I, I may play more than just one. You know, usually, yeah, yeah. Usually, we just play the the five ranked matches, but I may play another one. With this only taking thirty eight minutes. Okay, yeah, so yeah, you're trying my Kethis deck in best of three. That's what we're just playing against. That's what I was thinking. GG's, this is this is definitely a this is definitely be a tougher matchup for for that deck. But yeah, GG's Ice Ice Storm did good. And yeah, let me know how that how that deck's going for you in best of three if you like it over there. Can we make a hard, Esper hard control deck tonight? Probably not tonight. I, w I want to be building around the 20 new cards, like with all the decks that we play. I want to have at least one of the new cards, and Esper Heart Control is not really that. Um, I don't know. I can go 12 hours without eating, basically. Uh, so sometimes in 12-hour streams, I, I take, yeah, take a snap, or like I'll get a snack or something, but I'm doing good. I, I can last another three hours. Rude. <clears throat> yeah, goblins. Yeah, I feel like we should play goblins or elves. So 
Could have gone the slow route and played Pelt Collector plus Harpooner here. Grow the Pelt Collector to be a 2-2. Two -two. Next turn, Questing Beast. It's a 3-3. Three -three. Our deck it doesn't really care about the slow route, though. We're going. Um, I don't really have, like, a specific thing I snack on. I don't know, like, yogurt. Oh, I don't have another Spark Harvest and kill my Questing Beast. <laughs> Looks like people want Elves and Goblins. Try to play a turn 3 Carnage Tyrant. I'm not sure if Carnage Tyrant is going to be that great. Um, I cannot kill my opponent this turn. So I feel like I just make blockers. All their creatures have death touch. So like Hellkite's not like a great blocker. Maybe just, you know, throw throw a couple of these out there to be a, be a couple blockers here. Stay alive next turn. Ember Cleave the Beast. Yes, Burning Tree Emissary, a good two-drop for Goblins. Goblins doesn't have good two-drops. Hey, good job, Zaxer. So you're playing, yeah, you're playing the Spectre deck in best of one, and you got to nine wins before you flooded out against Red Black Aggro. That is awesome. Good job. Hmm. Needs like one black castle. Just black castle just doesn't help you play your stuff on turn two though, unless you have specifically overgrown tomb to go along with it. Best of one also has the hand fixing, makes you have a little bit better mana. Basically, if they have removal, I'm going to die. If they don't have removal, which it doesn't seem like they do, I'm going to win. It's basically what this game is right here. Do you have removal for Questing Beast in these two cards? Yes or no? Hey, Guildmates. Thanks for, thanks for resubbing. And Fat Butters. Getting one more month in there also. Two more resubs, and that gets us up to 20. I was, looks like I was one behind. His MTG bot's one off, and it says 21. So that's another sub goal. Of course, what we do with the sub goals is, um, that's perfectly fine. What we do with the sub goals is every, um, Every, so it's 10 subs for a sub goal, then every 20 subs we're doing a 12 hour stream like we're doing today. So that's two more towards our next 12 hour stream. And GG. This is eight damage, because uh, since it has first strike, 
since it has death touch, it only has to do one damage. Death touch trample means you only have to do one damage, and then, and then three, and then five. Questing beast ember cleave is so mean. So mean. Yeah, but but Zaxx are also you can't. Like you need a green source for turn one, right? So like the the castle doesn't help for turn for trying to play anything, for trying to play your three drops on turn two. It doesn't help. Uh, in, unless you have watery grave, or sorry, sorry, unless you have overgrown tomb, because watery grave doesn't count. You can't play turn one watery grave and then play turn two castle and do anything with that. So how much do I want Veil of Summer? <laughs> trample touch? That's death death touch with trample. <laughs> Just made a thing. Trample touch. Death trample. All right, so obviously we're keeping. Um, obviously, I would like a two mana card to play. On, I'd have, I'd like a card to play on turn two. We don't, we don't have a two mana card to play on turn two, right now. These are zero mana. Oh, right, because I have Land War off on turn one. So never mind, I have Spellbreaker. Never mind. Yeah, we're good. I, I, I kind of forgot about Land War, because I've, you know, we've just been doing turn one Pelt Collector, like, so often. Long stream. Yeah, we get to play, we get to play Spellbreaker on turn two. I think we just go 4-4, four, four, right? Yeah, I think we just go 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, just nine power and toughness on turn two. Pretty good. Hey, old school getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Santa Paul. Rude. Is this good? Yeah, Blood Rush, the RTR Gruel mechanic. Yeah, Blood Rush. The thing is, is if they have a, you know, if they have a, a murder, if they have like a removal spell, I'm going to die. Well, I'm not going to die, but they can stabilize by just killing this questing beast. Like, honestly, maybe attacking those Burning Tree Emissaries was just bad. Because those Burning Tree Emissaries would have been better to have on the battlefield of Ember Cleave. Probably. 
That was probably bad attacks. Me being too confident with this great hand. But they did not have removal though, so. You just can't block this thing with anything. Dang. All right, so usually we just... Yeah, this is completely reasonable. So usually we just play our five matches over in Mythic. I, f I feel like we need an Encore and do one more with it not even being an hour. <laughs> yeah, that was such a quick 5-0. Do y'all want to go to the, the next deck? Or do you want to play one more? All right, just go the 5-0? Okay. The f and we'll get another one because yeah, this this deck looks pretty busted. Oh, now we got some more people saying one more. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do. We have some people saying next deck, some people saying one more. All right, we're getting more people saying one more. Okay, Encore. We'll make it fast. We'll make it fast. All right, so this looks like just turn two Spellbreaker. Nothing too special. All right, I guess we go for turn, turn three Hellkite over turn two Spellbreaker against Field of the Dead. I don't know, maybe I just go, hmm. Maybe I just go Spellbreaker here, actually. Try to save for the Hellkite for after they Wrath. So th if I play this, we're attacking for six. Let's do that. But obviously, I guess if they do Wrath, then like the, maybe we don't get to play the Hellkikes. Maybe we don't have the lands. Hellkite can just fly over zombies. That's important, flying over zombies. It's like, look at this. Look at this huge gape in the ground here. It's hard to stomp over that.
So this will put him down to one. Where if they have a sweeper, I mean, they could have a sweeper then still play like a, a zombie afterwards. But maybe we can have our a spell breaker kill him. Possibly they just don't have a sweeper. Also though, that'd be the best. That's probably good for me. They better not have like Devout Decree. Just main deck. All right, we got game one. We didn't need it. Burning Tree or Ember Cleave. So I don't really like Bone Crusher Giant too much here. But I don't really have a sideboard for this matchup. We just kind of play our stuff and attack. I mean, I could play, instead of the Bone Crushers, I could just play Vivian's. So that, like, before they sweep, we play Vivian and keep, you know, this thing can kill Golos or it can just, you know, get us more cards before a sweeper. But I don't know if that's really what the matchup's supposed to be about. I don't think we really need Veil. Yeah, I like Rixus. This is not a very good Kral Harpooner matchup with how it, it doesn't trade with. It doesn't trade well with zombies. I mean, it just trades with, with one zombie. It can't, doesn't really trade up. If they would have kept their seven, I think I would have mulliganed this. But they mulliganed. They were they were mulliganing, and so basically we're gonna be all in and just hope they don't have a sweeper. And just empty our hand. Hmm. All right, it's not a sweeper.
Can we get through? Can we get those last points? Mm, does not look like it. Yeah, just play if you don't have... Just play an anti-aggro card if you don't have Ripjaw Raptor. Just whatever you replace it with, play something that's good against aggro. Well, I set it up to have to have a five-five pelt collector. That's why I played all my creatures to, you know, like I played like the the pelt collector, and then the two-two, and then the two-power, then the three-power, and then our four-power creature died, and so it's going to be a four-four. Then we equip it with Ember Cleave. It's going to be five-power. Hmm. Dang. We were close. So close. My best card in this matchup is Questing Beast, besides Embercleave. Embercleave's awesome, we've had that. But my other good, really good one is Questing Beast, because Questing Beast doesn't get blocked by zombies. We haven't seen... We haven't seen Questing Beast yet. I think that's going to be worth more than three damage. Did they have a three mana sweeper or something? They're saying oops. Well, I guess they're just going to rejuvenate her into time wipe. So it's two. Let's see. If I put on Spellbreaker, it's six extra damage. If I put it here, um, it's five extra damage yeah so that's five damage there it's six damage here so six damage is more Hmm. <clears throat> 
Okay, so yeah, even even if they had a time wipe, we had uh, the backup spellbreaker. So there we go, GGS. Uh, ranked historic is the same as standard. Yes, yes, you can you can rank and play historic or standard. It's the same ranking. You have you have a constructed ranking. The six O. In an hour and seven minutes, getting us up to number 13. This deck is legit. This deck is legit. Breaking Historic right here with Burning Tree Emissary. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is... This song that we're playing right now is I Predict a Riot by the Kaiser Trees. That is definitely a gruel song. Predict getting a, a riot. So yeah, around 10 minutes a win. Um, and this is this is legit. Yeah, Burning Tree Emissary is so good. Um, <laughs> yeah, it turns out aggro is good. All right, so yeah, if you, so that's what somebody asked earlier. Like, what's the best card in historic anthologies? Or, what, like, or just what card in historic anthologies is going to make the, the biggest impact? On standard, I think it's Burning Tree Emissary. Because not only here, as I talked about, just Mono Red, playing this in Mono Red with Robber the Rich and um, the v Viachino Pyromancer and, and um, Runaway Steamkin with this card. Um, you know, you can play Runaway Steamkin first and then play all these or play all these in Runaway Steamkin. You know, like, yeah. That and with, um, yeah, with uh, Experimental Frenzy, giving you... Free mana with Experimental Frenzy is always good. So yeah, even that in Mono Red too. But we saw we, we beat a Mono Red deck also with, with this. You know, just went faster than them, basically. Um, so yeah, it turns out zero mana two twos. Pretty, pretty powerful. All right, so that's Gruel Aggro in Historic, in Mythic. I uh, hope you all enjoyed that. 6-0 uh, there. If uh, So if you're watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button over there. Also, um, uh, you know, leave comments if you're leveling up with this deck. Also, let me know how it's going for you. And of course, if you're if we start struggling with anything, what do we want to do with the uh, sideboard? You know, obviously this is a rough draft of the sideboard right now. And of course, we've talked about how Crawl Harpooner. There's other options there. I talked about that at the beginning of the video. So let me know um, with uh, all the card choices how everything's going. Um, and of course, uh, one last thing, I guess I, I've been forgetting to, to mention this, but for those of y'all watching on YouTube and of course everybody here as well, if you like, if you like my content and you want to help support it, just $3 a month over at Patreon, uh, you only get billed the first of the month. You don't even get billed right now. If you want to sign up for Patreon, um, earlier this week on Monday, like right after the bannings, I talked about what I could see happening in standard after the bannings. And then yesterday I talked about, I went through all 20 cards um of the histor the historic anthologies and kind of talked about them uh there as well and talked about historic a little bit um some the decks to expect and that kind of stuff but i'll continue writing over on patreon uh every few days so um if you want to see my written content and and what i'm thinking about on arena and also or just you know want to help support the stream you know have your ad block on on, on youtube and not feel bad about it just three bucks a month over there. Uh, link down below, but it's just patreon.com slash ToddStevensMTG. Okay, so that's Gruel Aggro. Did a great job there. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.